podcast i'm your host kanisha and i hope you and your families are having an amazing day are not depending on side of the world that you are on hunty okay welcome back i am so happy to be before you all in the year of 2024 who would have thunk it that we would have lived to see it if you made it over into this new year in good health and your right mind i just want to say praise the lord it is a blessing no goodness of our own but by God that we made it to a new year. And I'm just so excited um, for the new year. You know, we don't, we didn't shoot any fireworks or anything, but I ushered in the new year in the house of God. We had a shut in at church and I just had such a good time. Oh my goodness. Just every hour we went down for prayer and just petitioning the Lord about the things that I want for this year for myself as well as my family, friends, and loved ones. I'm just so, so excited and I hope you guys have brought in the new year um, in a good way, in a safe way. And yeah, I just hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is the first episode of this year and I was thinking, I was like, well man, what am I going to talk about? Uh, well, before I get into the topic, oh my goodness, slow down, Kanisha, I know you're excited, but um, we're going to talk, I, I want to get into the announcements. So the first announcement is the new um, intro. And I played around with it for a little while and I was like, should I use this song? Because I love this song. I love the song so much and the meaning behind the song is so deep. And I feel like as a mom and as a wife, we carry so much weight on our shoulders on a day to day basis that we deserve peace of mind. So I decided to take, um, it's by Lauren Hill um, and it's called I Gotta Find Peace of Mind. And just the deepness of that song is so beautiful and the meaning of the words, when you just listen to it and meditate on it and just let it sink into your ears, it's like, man, you know, God is so good that the enemy does speak to us and say, you know, you, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, and we as moms and wives, we have to find peace of mind. It's hard sometimes, but it is achievable. And I thank God for the peace of mind that I have now. Um, because there was once a time I didn't have the peace of mind that I needed. I'm better than I was, but I have a ways to go. Okay, so I just hope that this podcast this year, um, if you're a, a new listener or a returning listener, I hope that this podcast gives you peace of mind. I hope this podcast gives you everything that you need on your journey. Like I said in the intro, through your journey, because this is definitely a journey being a mom and a wife. It ain't easy. It's hard. But nevertheless, with God on our side, we can do all things. And I'm still learning and believing that and trusting in that, that just because I'm a mom and a wife, a friend, I have so many titles. I know that I can find peace of mind, that the enemy cannot take my mind from me because we got God on our side. Amen, amen. So the next thing is, you guys, we're still, I'm still showing the journals. Thank you all to had, who has supported um, me in this area of my life. Getting my Mommy and Vibes journal is greatly appreciated and I, I, I just thank you so much. I wish I knew who, who purchased them so I can give you a shout out by name or at least DM you and tell you thank you so much because I really appreciate it. Um, you don't have to support me, but I appreciate it. All of the listeners that listen to me, I appreciate it. The viewers that watch me over there on YouTube, I appreciate it so much. You just listening to me and watching me, it really means so much. Um, the merch will be dropping soon. I'm not giving a definite date yet, but it will be coming soon. So that is all. Um, oh, and I got a new logo. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I went over to Instagram, um, I think it was like in December, and I showed them when I got it done. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it or not. Um, the feedback has been phenomenal. Everybody has loved it. So I'm like, you know what? I paid for this logo. I'm going to use this logo. No money goes to waste over here, okay? So I just decided that I was going to use it. So hopefully you guys love it as much as 
well, I ain't gonna say I love it, but hopefully you guys like it as much as I'm trying to like it, okay? All right, so we're gonna get right on into our topic. And I chose this topic, well, let me just tell you the name. I'm just so excited, y'all. I feel like I'm just all over the place. But the topic for today is, you have to get a job, now what? And I decided to go with that topic because um, a lot of moms are now getting jobs in this new year. And it's a, this is a big thing. This is a big, huge um, journey. Because especially if you're used to staying at home, it's like you, you can become afraid, you can become worried, you could be like, oh my goodness, what am I, what am I going to do? Like, how do I go about this and all of that? So, you know, like I've always said, I don't like to talk about things that I don't know. I like to talk about stuff that I, I have been through and I feel like it's more relatable when you when you've been in it for yourself you can relate better versus well let me tell you what somebody told me where you could just hear it from the horse's mouth itself right so um I had Nadia back in 2017 and this is before so I, that had to be like the beginning probably like the latter part of 2016 going into the year 2017 because she was born in um november but don't quote me on the dates just just listen to the story so i had went to school to be a medical assistant years before that and i was like oh i got this degree i ain't doing nothing with it it's just collecting dust i want to be you know i want to go out and get a job so at the time nigel was younger he wasn't old enough to go to school so i had to put him in daycare and I, I begged my husband. I was like, please, please, can I get a job? Can I get a job? I want to go out and work. I want to I want to have adult affection. I want to have adult conversations. I just want to just be out there in the world. Y'all, and my camera's going dark. So my viewers, please forgive me. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so he was like, okay, you want to get a job? Go ahead. So I began, I, I began to look for jobs. But at the time, I was freshly graduated out of college. And my college was still, uh, I was going to Virginia College. And um, my advisors, my financial advisors and all of that was was still helping us find jobs and everything. So I remember I had to go to school this day and they helped me with the portfolio and all of that stuff. All of the things all, um, to collect all my awards and type of letters of recommendations, just different things. And I had to go to... Um, where I did my clinicals and just get different things I had to get, right? To make it, to make you be like, I'm the best candidate for the job, right? So I went to the school and I'm gonna tell y'all, this is, I'm gonna give you a lesson in this. Um, so I went to the school, got everything that I needed and we had to dress up. So I, I remember having on a white dressy top with a black skirt, black black tights, and um, some black heels. And as I'm on my way back home, something said, stop at this office over here. Because I had previously seen it that this urologist, Atlantic urologist, maybe I shouldn't say the name. You're, this this office, you're all, I, well, I'm not going to say the whole name, but urologist's office was hiring. They needed a medical assistant. And I was I remember calling my husband at work and was like, hey, I think I'm going to stop by just, you know, just to drop off a resume and my qualifications and stuff. And he was like, well, if that's what you want to do, do it. Now, mind you, my husband was still supportive through everything, right? So, I stopped by the office and um, it was only like one nurse there the receptionist and then the office manager and the other MAs had tra had to travel to another city, right? So they were like traveling medical assistants. So I remember going in, the lady was like, well, come on in the office. And you know, I talked to her and I gave her like all of my qualifications. And she was like, oh, we've been hoping that we could find a nice person to join our family, this, that, and the third. And I was like, okay, well, she was like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to talk with the person that's over, um, this office that's higher than her. Cause she was just the office manager. 
and we'll get back to you so i was like okay and so i remember going to my mom's house because i had to pick up my kids from her house and i remember my phone rung i went on the porch and it was the office manager she was like kenisha we want to we want to give you this job we love you we want to give you this job we think you're overqualified so we want to you know raise your pay a little bit but we want to give you this job and i remember screaming on the porch like ah i got a job like oh my goodness so I remember telling my husband and he was like, well, you know, you're going to have to find a daycare for Nigel to go to, which was understandable because I'm like, okay, who's going to keep Nigel? So long story short, I ended up getting him a daycare, finding him a daycare and everything. Now, little did I know that I was going to have to travel, that she never told me that. I just thought that those two, nerd, those two MAs had to travel, not knowing that the whole office had to travel. So I had to end up traveling for a little bit and uh, long story short, y'all, I hated the job. I hated it. And I'm going to give you the pros and the cons of the job. One of, excuse me, on my phone is ringing. Um, the, the pros of the job was I got to meet new people. I was able to meet older people because a lot of the, the um the lot of the patients that we had were like elderly and I learned so much. Well, I, for one, number one, I've got to meet new people. I got so much wisdom, so much inspiration from older those older people. Um and two, I learned so much about the bladder, about urine, just different things that you wouldn't even believe goes on in the human body when it comes to kidneys and bladder and urine. It was just mind blowing. I learned so much. Um, number three, you kind of build a family because you're there with those people that you work with. So they kind of become like your family and you learn from them too. It's like, like this is my sister, you know, we, we were together. You, you grow a relationship with the doctors. It's like their family now. So those are the three, the three pros that I really enjoyed. The cons, on the other hand, was we had to travel to different offices. So that meant you had to work with some nurses and some doctors you did not, not know. Especially when we had to travel like to the bigger cities. Like um, I'm close to Myrtle Beach. So I had to travel there. Um, you're working with people that you don't know. Versus the people that you do know, you kind of picked up their habits. You kind of pick up, you know, things that, you know, just different things about people you already know. Now you have to go travel over here and you're dealing with a set of people that you don't even know. So it's like, oh, Lord, help me. So that was something that I did not like because it was like I had to travel so far from home, an hour from home, an hour back home. And outside of working outside of my home. I still was a mother inside my home and a wife inside my home. So that meant I had to still do my motherly duties as far as my wifely duties. And I was extremely tired. I was extremely tired. But I didn't, and, and let me finish telling my story, then I'll get into what I really want to say. Um, I remember coming home begging my husband like, Quinn, can I come home, please? I'm so, I remember falling asleep at the kitchen table while eating. I was just that tired. And he was like, no, you wanted to go work? You gonna work. And I remember just crying. And this is no shade to my husband because he taught me a lesson. And Jesus taught me a lesson. And I'm gonna tell you what that lesson was in a second. So every day I would come home, I still had to cook clean, but my husband was still by my side. He was helping me do those things, but he also was teaching me a lesson in the process. Still falling asleep early. It's like I didn't have time for my husband or my children because I was so extremely tired. Now, the lesson, oh, well, finally, let me, let me end the story. Oh my goodness. Finally, I got pregnant with Nadia. Praise God. See how God worked. <laughs> I got pregnant with Nadia and I remember calling him on the phone because I was at work and I was like, oh, I think I'm pregnant. 
I done had three kids. This fourth one, I knew. I was like, I think I'm pregnant. So I remember stopping by the family dollar, coming home, taking the test, positive. So he came home and I was like, can I stop working? He was like, nope, you still gonna work. And I was like, so you really gonna make me work and I'm pregnant? So I think I probably was like three months into my pregnancy. I remember being coming home from work and I was just exhausted because in the beginning of the months of my pregnancy, those aren't good times for me. And I remember coming home and he came in a room and he was just looking at me. And he was like, top up a two weeks a two week notice for you to leave the job. What? Yes, sir. And I started tapping, 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 tapping. And I could not, it seemed like those two weeks was the longest two weeks ever. Oh my gosh. When I got up out of there, when I got up out of that urologist's office, I did not look back. I did not open my mouth again to tell my husband, hey, I want to work. Can I get a job? Now, this is no shade to the moms that have to go to work. Because I'm going to share something with you that hopes, that I'm hoping that will resonate with you and will make you open up your mind to what I'm saying. For me, in this, in that journey, because mind you, everything that we go through is a process and a journey. And that journey, Quentin, which is my husband, and God was teaching me a lesson. That don't fix it if it ain't broke. What I mean by that is we wasn't hurting for money. I was never supposed to go out and get a job. And another thing that I learned was don't be so quick to open your mouth and then later regret it because that's exactly what I did. I regretted saying I wanted to get a job because at that moment, that's what I wanted to do. Selfishly, I wanted to get a job. I want to get out of the house. I want to have adult interaction. I want to have adult conversations with other adults. In reality, that wasn't, that was not for me. So my husband didn't let me come home when I felt like I needed to come home because I do believe obeying your husband and submitting to your husband. So I told him what I wanted to do. He was like, okay, well, if that's what you want to do. I'm, I'm going to let you go. So he let me go when I was ready to come home. When I felt, when I got tried by the fire and I was like, oh no, I'm ready to come home. He said, no ma'am, you're going to continue to work until I'm ready for you to come home because he didn't say it out of his mouth, but you know, weeks after that, I realized like, okay, this was a test. I was never supposed to leave outside of my home. My journey is to be in the household, not outside that door. Now, if you are a mom that wants to go to work because for selfish motives because if you were like me like you just want to get out of the house then I, I sincerely beg you to talk to God about it and talk to your husband about it because a lot of times if you have an easy going husband like I have um, that really doesn't say a whole lot that just goes with the flow he's not going to say no mm -mm, I don't want you to go to work he may he may not but if you have to go to work because that's going to benefit your household, then by all means, go. But if that's not what your family is needing at the time for you to go to work, if weigh out your options, like, okay, am I really supposed to go to work, go to work now? And I'm going to tell, I'm going to share something intimate with y'all, something deep. When I was working, it's like we the it's like where the money going? And it's so amazing how God works, how God does things, how God shows you like you're not supposed to be doing that. This is not my will for you. This is not the thing that I need for you to do. So it's like I was making money, but where was it going? It's like it wasn't showing up and it's it's not that I was, I was, we were spending money like crazy. It's just that when you get out of the will of God, you're going to be sitting there scratching your head like, what, what happened? Like what? So that's why I say, you know, if you're a mom out there that's like, okay, I want to find a job. 
make sure that's something that you and your husband discuss because i'm telling you from experience you will regret it now if you are a mother that has to get a job to contribute to the household then by all means if that's what god says and if that's what your husband agrees to then take it one day at a time but do not forget that you are still a mother and you are still a wife and even if it is god's will for you to go out there and work please remember those things that you are a mother and a wife and your husband is still the head because i know like sometimes when we get we get money we like mm, I, i'm about what i want to buy i'm not I, i'm not doing this i'm not doing that and your husband over here like i need half on the light bill you working now but we selfishly guard our money for ourselves and i can talk a whole lot about that because i've done that before with my business in the beginning and i'll save that for another day but you know we're i'm in a season now where it's like okay do i need to be doing this i need to be seeking god and i pray i pray that you guys do the same thing because we as women we move off of emotion we move off of impulse like okay well i'm feeling like this right now and i feel like i feel like my feelings are right so i feel like i want to get a job so i'm going to go get a job and you hear how i just said i feel i feel i feel because we are we're made with emotions men are made with the brain that's why god made them the head and that's why i talk so much about submitting and obeying our husbands especially if you have a good husband i have a good husband i know my husband won't lead me in the wrong direction. I know that he will, you know, I've, you have to know your husband. You have to know him. And if you have a good husband that has never stirred you wrong, women, please, mama, wife, please listen to your husband. Listen to God. Submit to him. But if you are going back out there, you know, if your husband has agreed and you're going out there i wish you all the luck but just remember one piece of advice if i can give you is again remember that you are a mother and you are a wife and those people in your household are still going to need you still going to need you and I, I i pray that god just gives you the strength to to work outside of the home because i know it's going to be scary i know for me when i first went it was scary because it's like it's something new to you and you're going to be tired, but I pray that God gives you the strength to go through this journey and, you know, be open. Talk to your husband, talk to your friends, family, whoever, about how you're feeling. Okay, I'm tired. Can you help me in this situation? Can you help me do this? Can you help me do that? You know, tell them what's in your mind because nobody's a mind reader. Y'all know how we us women do. We don't like to share our feelings. We just want to keep it all bottled in and hoping that our husbands read our minds. They can't do that, okay? They can't. So let's just be honest about how we're feeling in that moment. You know, you had a long day at work. Baby, I need you to rub my feet. My feet are hurting. Help us to sigh. <laughs> so, but I also want to tell you guys, if um you do feel a little groggy, you know, out there in the working world, as always, get you some Magic Mind. Magic Mind is now in all of Sprouts Farmer Markets across the country. I'm telling you, they will get you where you need to be, give you all of the energy without the, the jittery feelings. It'll have you feeling like, okay, I don't drink my drink. And it also pairs good with a coffee, guys. So if you are a coffee addict like I was before I became vegan, I just felt like I needed a coffee, coffee, coffee. So when I paired that coffee up with that Magic Mind, it definitely set me in the right place. And when I was coming down off of, you know, my hiatus, I did not feel like drained or groggy at all. So after you're hooked, you can get a 50% off at www.magicmind.com slash stay at home mom using my code MOMVIBES. 20 guys i'm just so excited get you some magic mind and and start your year off right whether you're continuing to stay home are you going to continue are you going to um going out there into the working world just know that magic mind can help you get where you need to 
be okay okay so i hope this episode just really just opens up your mind to really seek out the things that that we need to do because like i said when i'm talking to y'all i'm talking to myself as well because we don't want to do things selfishly we don't want to do things in the spirit of the moment because those things that come out of the spirit of the moment will have us regretting everything about ourselves and about our household and we don't want to be the ones our husband's looking at us looking at us like i told you so didn't i tell you and we don't want to have to come crawling back home to jesus like lord oh god help me lord we don't want to do that we want to we want to be found submitting to our husbands and you know doing what's right but like i said if you have to go out there and get a job may you just have a good experience and whatever the situation is why you have to go to work it whether it's financial you know for more money because of financial problems i pray and i'm i hope that you know your situation gets better i hope that everything just falls in line for you and your family and on this year i hope that this year is just amazing for all of the mamas all of the wives because i am trying to even though I'm still a stay-at-home mom, I'm trying to incorporate not just stay-at-home moms, but all moms. So I'm trying to scale back from, oh, this is for the stay-at-home moms. This is for just the, um, the ones that stay home. I'm trying to incorporate all of the moms because all of the moms need to hear this stuff. All of the moms need motivation. All of the moms need peace of mind. And I pray that this podcast is what is that foundation for y'all is you know you can come here and say you know what i need some motivation let me see what kanisha's talking about today okay all right so i hope you guys enjoy this podcast i hope you share it with your friends family and loved ones i hope what i said just encourages you and helps you take a closer look at you and your situation and that this year just starts off great and continues on till december 31st okay all right so this is the end of this episode. Remember, mommy ain't easy, but it is definitely a vibe.